Hello teachers, my name is Neha Deshpande and I work at the Science Activity Center at ISAR Pune. Today, we will discuss a lesson plan made by Shilpa Bhagwat from Bharat English School in Pune. This lesson is about types of electrical circuits taught to the students of 9th and 10th grades. The types discussed in this lesson are open, closed and short circuits, not to be confused with series and parallel circuits. She conducted this lesson in her class using hands-on activities and shared her experiences with us. We will also be discussing those today. But make sure that the students already know about the components of circuit before we teach them this lesson. So let's begin. The class began with a role play activity. For this we need 6 to 7 student volunteers, red and blue ribbons and some ropes. The students form a circle. They hold ropes between them. One of them can be given the role of a battery. Red and blue ribbons can be tied to his or her left and right hand. This was used to make sure that the students understand the flow of the current in the circuit. Another student can be given the role of a bulb. This student holds the rope tightly to represent the bulb as a load. Another student can be given the role of a switch. Only this student has the ability to disconnect the circuit. The other students are conductors. They hold the rope less tightly as compared to the bulb. The speed of the pulling of the ropes can be compared to the resistance. They understood the role of the battery, the switch, the conductors or resistors and the bulb. The conventional symbols of these can then be discussed. The rest of the class was asked to draw a circuit diagram based on the circuit formed by their peers. We can ask the student volunteers to continue forming the circuit while the teachers can make the actual circuit for the demonstration. We can ask the students what did they think will happen in the circuit and to verify the activity can be performed. For this we need a battery, wires, paper clips, pins, nuts, a pair of scissors, a bulb and its holder. Using double-sided tape, stick the bulb holder and the battery to the base. Insert the pin through a nut and a clip. Pierce it through the base and half the switch is made. Pierce another such pin a few centimeters away. Connect wires as shown to complete the circuit. Close the circuit and observe what happens. While doing this activity, we need to make sure that the student volunteers have formed the exact same circuit. The student bulb is pulling the rope tightly, which means the bulb is on, just like in the actual circuit. The students discussed their observations and concluded that the circuit needs to be closed for the bulb to glow. Then we can ask them questions like what if the battery is not connected to the circuit or what if more than one bulbs are connected in the circuit. Students also wondered what if the switch was disconnected. So next we can talk about open circuits. We can ask the students to predict what would happen in such a circuit through the role play and then do the demonstration as before. Disconnect at the switch and observe what happens. While demonstrating we can ask the switch student to disconnect which means the rope is no longer being pulled. This helps the students understand what happens when the circuit is switched off. We can then discuss the definitions of open and closed circuits. Then we can relate this to their knowledge of home appliances. Next we talked about short circuits. We can tell the students what we are going to do in the circuit and ask them to predict what will happen. A lot of students get confused by this. But we can collect a few guesses before we move on to the demonstration. Take a short wire and attach it to either side of the bulb holder. Observe what happens. The students might need a bit of guidance to form this circuit. This will show the students that the circuit is shorted and the electricity is not reaching the bulb. Hence the bulb does not glow. This can be defined as the short circuit. And students can be asked to note the problems with such circuits. The combination of the role play activities and the actual demonstration of the circuit helps the students understand the concept in greater depth. This also maintains a lively discussion in the class. 
The details of these activities are given in the text lesson plan. The link for which is given in the description box. Please try this in your classrooms and let us know what your experience is. Thank you for watching.